Hey, bless y'all. It's TJ here. The plan has not changed. <clears throat> the plan has not changed. What do I mean? Prior to me coming to the truth, I was able to already see where the father was making adjustments, making moves, making me live a lifestyle that I did not grow up living. Um, as far as farming, growing food, um, raising animals, all that stuff that I was doing uh, at my old home. Um, that plan hasn't changed. The situation may have changed as far as my family and what they're doing. Uh, and I can't even really say there because my children are all under the age of five. So um, I, can't, I literally cannot put anything on them as far as their actions. Um, but their mother, um, my wife. Um, but the plan hasn't changed for me. The plans have not changed. Now at my home where I once lived, uh, my basement, I had bought shelves, probably about three or four big shelvings that I can stack and store food. And that's exactly what I did. That's exactly what I was doing. I was canning, um, which I'm actually going to get ready to start doing again. I was learning how to can at the time. Uh, and I, I mean, I was buying storage food. Rice, chicken, beans. I mean, everything that can let, stay in the can for X amount of years. Every time I went to a grocery store, I was I was overdoing it. Some would say, but I knew I had a family that I had to take care of, and I knew that there was also going to be people who did not prepare, who were going to just show up on the farm and, hey, oh, we're hungry, can you? Help? So I was actually preparing and planning a little bit for that as well. But that plan hasn't changed because although the the situation for my family has changed as far as me not uh, being there to be able to do what I need to do again, not by choice, um, <clears throat> but by force. Um, now they are going to have to try to figure out because again, what hasn't changed is the plan for America to be destroyed. And for the world to go in the direction that it's going in. That plan, they're not moving from that plan. The food shortages and all that stuff that's happening, that plan is still very much in play. So my plan hasn't changed. My plan hasn't changed at all. The situation's a little different, you know, but the plan has not changed. So right now, I'm actually headed to the store right now to, to pick up some some shelving and I actually should have done this a few weeks ago um, but I'm actually gonna get some shelving because I got I got some you know food storage and stuff but I want to get back to where I was at before you know so now I'm getting ready to get some shelving and then while I still can hit the grocery store and stock up Pastor Corey I, I heard you I hear you Pastor Dow, I hear you, sir. <clears throat> and, and they've been doing this for a long time. I, I just got into this a couple years ago when I really realized, like, man, things is not, not looking good. I need to be prepared and prepare myself for my, and my family. And I'm still going to do that because I need to prepare for myself. You know? So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm getting ready to do. The plan has not changed. Only the circumstances and the situation. But the plan still remains. Where my children are, I hope the plan is still in play. But it might not be. For the sake of them, the little ones who have you know, no say in what's happening in their life right now. I hope the plan is still in play. 
I can tell you this much. I know I'm gonna be all right. And I know a guy right here gonna be all right. You gonna be all right, Zeus? <laughs> you gonna be good. We gonna eat. We'll be all right. Cause we do, we doing what we need to do. I'm doing what I need to do right now. And I'm gonna continue. That is not gonna change. Folks, if you still think you don't need to prepare, plan, have a little extra, go on and believe that. But if you think your neighbor is your neighbor and your friends are your friends, only time will tell. Only time will tell. See how many people you'll be able to call on. See if they have a little bit of extra food and see who's going to be willing to share. We'll see. We will see. Because when I was doing all this, when I was, you know, in Minnesota, living there and going to church and all that stuff, I, I literally did not find anybody else that was growing anything. Trying to come out of her. Trying to, you know, get out of this. I, I, I literally, maybe they were there. I just had, I just never met them. I literally never met them. And so, people were coming over my home, getting food out of the garden. Taking the excess and the extras that we couldn't eat. Is that plan still in play? I'm still going in that direction. And I'll continue to go in that direction until the end. I'm not depending on no government, nobody, like, you know, to to make sure I'm good. When I have time to prepare and to plan, at least right now for myself. I was doing it for my family, so nobody can say, oh, you did No, kick rocks. I was, they were good. And even, this is probably some of y'all right now who have probably been over my home. Went to the basement, probably cleared out all that shelving and probably divvied it up against, you know, amongst the family, possibly. I doubt it's still all sitting there. You know. But, listen. I bought all that food. I paid for that. So, you're welcome. If y'all are smart, y'all will leave it right where it is. For in case bad times hit, you can go back there and get it, but at the end of the day, y'all do what y'all want to do with it. That would be my recommendation, but hey. But anyway, bless y'all. Uh, I'm about to go hit this store and get the shelving and then prepare to get a lot more food. Because I gotta eat. Gotta eat. So, bless y'all.